Something wrong with the exam? Sure thing. What do you want to know? Vanguard work is as needed. When we've got jobs, we'll make them available to you. But the work itself, well, it runs the gamut. Sometimes you might be hunting down hostile ships on behalf of the UC Navy, or you might be called up to help the Science Division clean up some invasive species. Hell, we've even been asked to help take on the occasional Terramorph. And sometimes we just need cargo support. Not every job's glamorous. The Vanguard only gets called in for the ones where there's a chance of seeing action. Wherever the UC needs us, the Vanguard is there. For the exam, we'll be putting you through a combat flight simulation. Let us see your piloting skills, evaluate how you behave under pressure, all without any risk of you inadvertently getting blown out an airlock. For the probationary mission, though, we'll be sending you out on a job all on your own. The specifics of the mission vary by what's available at the time. But we're not about to ask you to storm a Crimson Fleet base or whatever. At least, not on mission one. More likely you'll be making a drop-off to some UC citizens in an area that's outside normal naval patrols. There'll be a risk of hostile contacts, but that's far from guaranteed. I'll keep an eye out for your results. It's been a long time since I've been to Mars. Soul system doesn't get a lot of traffic. No, it's fine. Go ahead. You mean, apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past five years? Well, let's see. I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics, calculating optimal trajectories for grab jumping. That's been quite useful in the past. And as far as planetary exploration, my area of expertise is botany. So, don't worry. I won't let you eat anything that might put you in the hospital. <laughs> exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession. But you have to promise to keep it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> a ridiculous name, I know. But uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. My parents considered themselves to be enlightened, but their lives were so busy they rarely pursued their beliefs. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything, it's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Having been out there, in the star field, seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes, I need answers, not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. I hope you got something out of that. Maybe another time.
expecting me to jump down after you. Really? Ooh. What's there to even do on Kagawa? Beats me, but the financials make sense. Well then, we're going to need more. across most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft, and yet I still get sick on the night. By Vectera, by Vectera, by Vectera! I can't believe it! Is it you? Is it really, really you? Captain of the frontier, bane of the fleet, constellations shining star of stars. Then the day is truly blessed, because for a moment, I wasn't sure if you were real or just another hallucination. But now that I know it's you, what are the odds? And to think, I almost went for coffee instead. But I changed my routine for one day, and here you are. It's almost like it was meant to be. I know, right? And you can try to fight destiny, but you probably aren't going to win. Although... If I'm being honest, I'd wager you could beat just about anything, even theoretical concepts. But why would you, in this case? Either way, it's such an honor to meet you. Hey, do you mind if I follow you around? Do you need a sidekick? What am I saying? You're a hero, of course you do! Lead the way! Be disappointed! Ah, oh, I've always liked that statue. Isn't it? Mm. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. You see that scientist out in front of me? Security scanners, chemical sniffers. Mm. United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. We're hiring if you're interested. You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked.
into orbit now. We should definitely stock up on supplies at the exchange. 
City. Tight ship here on Sidonia. Anyone who steps out of line, well, they learn never to do it again. Sergeant Booth at your service. If you have a security related concern, bring it up to me. Not if I've got anything to say about it. For real, though, I don't know if it's because everyone's too busy working or if it's because of the military presence, but crime's pretty low. We get the occasional drunken brawls, petty thefts, and stuff, but Sidonia ain't exactly a hotbed of crime. We're not Neon. As much as someone's last name is a nickname, friends, acquaintances, and other locals call me Booth. You can call me Sergeant Booth. Don't let me keep you. You used to think I was Vanguard material, until I discovered that space travel turns my stomach in knots. Welcome to Sidonia Security. I'm Commander Vincent Woodard, Chief of Planetary Security and former head of the Red Devils program here on Mars. I tend to deal with security at a high governmental level, whereas my associate Booth over there handles day-to-day -day security issues. So if you're looking to report a minor crime or misdemeanor, see him. But if there's something I can help you with, feel free to ask. It's small, it's dusty, it's old, but it's home. It may not be anything fancy, but I couldn't dream of living anywhere else. Still do, technically. I'm a naval commander. But they've got me here pushing pencils ever since the Red Devils disbanded. I pull double duty, aiding in recruitment and serving as the Sidonia Security Chief, representing the UC. If you ask me, though, Nothing's been the same since the Red Devil's glory days. Only the finest bunch of soldiers to ever grace the UC with their service. Of course, I may be biased as a Red Devil myself, and head of the program. Well, former, I should say. Program's been defunct since the armistice that ended the colony wars. It put a stop to any and all Xeno warfare. I fought to keep them operational here. But the top brass concluded that without their unique alien bioweapon training, there was no need for a separate elite soldier program. All the goddamn time. <laughs> it's been about 20 years, but every time a new recruit crosses my desk, I size them up and wonder if they have what it takes to be a red devil. I'd give my left thumb to recruit fresh devils again. 
But it'd take nothing short of a miracle to convince the top brass to reinstate the program. Have yourself a good one. Maybe when the Maybe new contracts finally open home. up, you'll give it a go. Damn it. Welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. Excuse Name's Trevor, us. mining director for the Deimos Mining Project here in scenic underground Sidonia. I could spare a minute or two to chat. So long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great, but yeah. Unfortunately, all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless... Maybe you could help me out with a job. Off the books. <laughs> I love the enthusiasm. Now do yourself a favor and get to know some of the miners. It'll remind you what you're doing this for. Uh, anyway, I'm getting off track. See, you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. Okay, glad you're still on board. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some more. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. When you've got enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. Sidonia is an industrial town. Not having any trouble mining the whole not so bad for one of the oldest mines in the settled systems. We struggle with the lack of decent equipment, but we work hard and make up for it. As I'm sure you know, we're responsible for supplying resources to Deimos Star Yards, which in turn is responsible for supplying UC naval vessels. That, among other major projects, makes us one of the United Colony's most important mining operations. The prestige and pay that comes with it almost makes up for being stationed at the arse end of the settled systems in the middle of nowhere. Yep, that's me. Joined up with Deimos when I was just 17 as a mining gopher. Go for this, go for that, you know how it is. I worked hard, proved myself capable, and got the promotion to mining director about six years ago, after the old boss retired. Some of the older guys resent me. But I give everyone a lot of leeway, as long as they meet their quotas. So that keeps them happy enough. Oh, that! Oh, nothing to worry about. We do fracking on Mars with subterranean particle detonations. Those announcements are just to let people know when to expect them. Now, you probably felt the rumble when the detonations actually go off. That's all it is. Not too bad, eh? Yeah, no worries, mate. I can totally see how it'd be odd if you're not used to it. Just sit down, or be sure you're within reach of something to hold on to if the quaking makes you uneasy. You'll be fine. Later, mate. It is now amazing. If you're going to use the elevators or stairs to reach the other levels, try to keep them going. My buddy Mitch keeps asking me if I can help him out with something.
the tech to instantly jump across the universe. Fancy seeing you here. Oh, hello there, friend. Have you been there long? Oh, good. I thought maybe I'd fallen asleep. But, oh my, I've forgotten my manners. Phil Hill, at your service. Yes, it rhymes. My parents had a thing about rhyming. My siblings are named Phil, Jill, and Syl. The Hills. <laughs> what a thrill. But there I go again. You aren't here to talk about me. You're here to talk about List. Sounds like we're about to hear a sales pitch. Great! What can the League of Independent Settlers do for you today? Or, as I like to say, how can I help make today your very best day? That's terrific, because I have a lot of work needing doing. This stack of papers here, these are just the most recent applicants looking for new worlds to settle on. Everywhere I go, people are really excited about the prospects of living a truly free life, living where and how they want to. I've got a cargo hold full of stacks just like that. <laughs> oh boy. That's not our problem. Oh, of course not. I, I wouldn't make you do my paperwork for me. Although, I, w I wouldn't mind the help. <laughs> not to worry. The mountains of papers are my responsibility. We're looking for folks with ships and or basic people skills to seek out suitable planets and leads on potential clients. I don't suppose you possess either of those qualifications? Oh yes, I can tell. Speaking with you has been an absolute thrill. I was charmed the moment you opened your mouth. That sounded creepy. Oh, <clears throat> but re uh, regarding this, most importantly, we need to collect data on habitable planets. The more habitable, the better. <laughs> you know, that oxygen and water are musts. Other signs of life, even better. Secondly, we're always looking for new applicants. So, as you travel around meeting people, when the occasion arises, see if you can interest them in signing up for the list. I'm pretty sure I overheard some people in here talking about wanting to start a new life. Why don't you start with them? Bring any suitable planet survey data slates to me, and I'll happily pay you for them. And you'll also earn an immediate commission for each interested party who signs up for the list. So get on out there and make truly independent living a dream come true, and turn a few credits while you're at it. <laughs> Excellent! Thank you for any assistance you could lend us. Whoops! <laughs> Nearly forgot. <laughs> Take this. Yes? Hello. I'm looking to join a crew. Any openings? I'm a fan of excitement and drama around here. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the Blackest Sea. Ah, believe me, I've heard it. After about round three or four it was all he would talk about. He's got a voice that carries. Look. 
Nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially when it's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I'll let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money, I've got problems. What do you say? Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? I want him found. I do. All right, I give up. Just trying to earn a living here. Last time I was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love, singing songs, all that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll make do. Have my attention. <laughs> Does that actually work on people? I am starting to believe that. Thanks. true. I am making other people rich. It's time I started doing things for myself. All right, let's do this. Whoa. Well, thank you. I'm lucky you came by.
Jeez. I can't imagine being cramped down here, choking on the fumes and the dust. No trees, no grass. It's depressing. And find stable ground or remain seated in the event of unforeseen tremor. Detonation occurs in five, four, three, two, one. Don't make me answer to your crimes. These invoices aren't going to review themselves. Commerce never rests. So if you wouldn't mind... A reduced noise ordinance is in effect every Take night. Time. For Ask me if you need anything. Here to help. The next morning. Got something on your mind, love? Then spit it out. You bothering me for a reason. You bet your arse we do, love. You've got all these dusties crammed into this tin can of a city, scrambling to use their profit shares to pay their bills. If they have a thin month in the mines, the credits are still due. So we're here to buy anything and everything people want to sell. And I do mean everything, if you catch my meaning. Not that I'm admitting to anything, of course. I'm in what you might call the Special Liaisons Department. When the TA needs to deal with, um, let's call them organizations that tend to fly below the radar, that's where I step in. I keep my own hours and the pay is good, so who the hell am I to complain? Ah, fancy yourself trade authority material, do ya? Well, all we've got right now is some freelance cargo work, but the pay's good. Not sure exactly what's available at the moment, but you'll find jobs posted up on the mission board over in the Broken Spear. <laughs> Good luck out there. Sure. Mission board's where you should go if you're looking for your one and... ...on freelance jobs. You'll tend to find them at local watering holes near spaceports, like the Broken Spear here in Sidonia. Leaving already? I was just getting interested. Just leave whatever it is yourself. Yo, hey, what's up? You looking to do some shopping here at the Trade Authority? I'm Monaki. Feel free to ask me anything and I'll do my best to help you out. Cool. That's what we do here. I'm still new here, so I don't know how qualified I am to answer that. We're like this huge network of shipping and trade throughout the known universe. Everyone. Free stars, UC. Even Varun uses us in some capacity. Because I guess we're all about free trade for all. 
<laughs> Yo, I wouldn't be surprised if we bought and sold from the Crimson Fleet, right? They pay my salary, so as far as I'm concerned, they're all right in my book. Man, sorry, I can't really say that. Really, they told me not to say anything like that because rumors, you know? All I know is that we're running a business here, and I was told to take in all trades and sell whatever we've got. <laughs> and listen, I'm not gonna worry about anything other than that. Yo! This dude came in once trying to sell this whack looking fish or something. It was still alive. He had it in this big plastic bag full of water and everything. Good size, too. I was trying to tell him I didn't know if we took in things like that, but then my boss came over and told me we absolutely did. And I had to process the sale and store the thing. <laughs> Man. What a pain in the ass that was. Even weirder, someone came in and bought it like right away. The hell's that about, right? Yo, stay good out there. belong to you, right? to help if you need anything. Hello? Do you have business with Governor Hurst? Oh my, in that case, please go right ahead. He's not busy at the moment. You're very welcome. Sidonia is a great place to open up a business. We've really been booming lately, despite what the news media has been reporting. Ah, hello. Welcome. I don't usually have time to speak with random people off the street, but I'd be happy to help if it's something quick. What can I do for you? Hmm. I can answer your general questions about Sidonia. Nothing venturing into politics. Sorry. But it's my strict policy that I only speak with select members of the press and major political donors who are serious about making changes for the future prosperity of Mars. I, I'm sorry, I can't, but if you have any other questions about Sidonia, I'm happy to answer them. Otherwise, 
I should get back to what I was doing. Standard protections from the media and anyone who would go to them. I'm sure you understand. That's cute, but not enough. If you're not sure how much, you probably can't afford it. And at this point, I'm not sure I'd accept it from you. Sidonia's not much of a tourist destination, unless you're interested in humanity's first major colony outside of Earth. But if you're not here for work, and you're looking to kill some time, I'm uh, told the Martian surface is great for hiking. Beautiful scenery, assuming you like shades of red. If you're looking to kick back after that and experience Martian nightlife, the Broken Spear is as good a local watering hole as any. You mean besides being the most important city of industry to our proliferation across the galaxy? Well, this is the home of Demo Star Yards, which perfected grav drive technology and made honest to goodness space travel truly possible. And to this day, our mines and manufacturing are instrumental in delivering resources used throughout the United Colonies. We may not outshine fancier cities like New Atlantis on its surface, but without Sidonia, there would be no United Colonies. Well, I've been appointed governor, what, going on 20 years now, I believe. Every day, I am passionate about serving the hard-working people of Mars. I look out for their interests, I support their prosperity, and in return, they help make the United Colonies a shining beacon of hope for humanity. If you ask me, there's nothing better than that. Considering I don't really know you, I'm not sure how to answer that. But Zidonia is a beacon of industry. There's plenty of work to go around. If you have mining experience, you may wish to check with whoever the current Deimos mining director is. Or maybe check with the Deimos Star Yard corporate office. If those aren't your speed, then there are a number of local businesses that are always looking for help. Sorry, we have to cut this conversation short. All citizens are welcome and encouraged to make use of the Sedonian Community Center on the mid-level for activities of all sorts. Seek a Community Center representative to plan your event or regular gathering today. Ever I'd give anything for a transfer to another enhance office. Somewhere more white collar would be nice. Citizens are advised to take caution near the military outpost on Certainly. Let's get to work on you. You'd be surprised, I think. There are many dangerous jobs on Mars. Mining, military training, manufacturing. As such, there are sometimes accidents. Therefore, it stands to reason there is a lot of reconstructive surgery to be done after the other doctors and surgeons do their work. 
The work being done here at this enhanced branch may not be as glamorous as others, but it is no less important to those that receive it. I admit, I took this job because I thought it would be easier and a little stress. I thought, who would be getting cosmetic surgery in a place like this? But I was wrong. I am constantly busy treating scars, fitting prosthetics, and helping people recover from the dangers of working here. I want to keep working for Enhance. But until my transfer is approved and a replacement is found, it looks as if I'll be stuck here. Ah, you're probably right. At the end of the day, I'm helping someone look their best. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought. Be safe. Always nice to kick back and throw a spear after a long night. Pardon. Oh, I swear the next gobshite miner who walks in here fancying me for lack of better options is going to need hands to put their face back later. together. <sighs> Let me guess. You're here because you were working a cutter. Accidentally nipped your thumb off and you need me to reattach it again? Well, that's a relief. You'd be surprised. Happens at least once or twice a week. <sighs> Sorry. I tend to think the worst, since the overwhelming majority of my patients come here to treat entirely preventable accidents. I know it's my job to help people, and I love doing it, but I do wish they'd be a little more careful down in the mines. I'm Dr. Flynn. What can I do for you today? Ah, I've heard of experiments like this. It's possible you have alien DNA sequences in your genome. A standard gene therapy procedure can remap these altered sections of code. It's perfectly safe, assuming you're interested. Take all the time you need. It's a big decision. It is now safe to well, I hope you never need it. But come to me if you need medical attention. The Bollocks. Is that how I come off now? Oh, work's getting to me, I suppose. It's just... You see, no one on this bloody planet seems to follow basic safety precautions. It's always, Dr. Flynn, reattach me arm, or help me with this frostbite. Well, maybe if you took the time to properly dress yourself for the outside, you wouldn't be losing your fingers, you Egypt. Sorry for the rant, just... Just for a change, I'd rather be treating the common cold, and not some horrific yet entirely preventable accident. Ah, you know, I've been saying that going on ten years now. You think I'd take me own advice, open up me own practice on a nice, safe world, maybe settle down with someone. I'd be much happier, for sure. But the truth is, the pay is exceptional here, and all these careless Egypts keep me busy. Maybe it's enough to stay with it and retire early instead. I've often wondered why myself. I've got some theories. From what I hear, the equipment's supposedly not in the best shape, so that's part of it. But I also happen to know the miners can get very competitive, since their bonuses are determined by how well they exceed their quotas. So that leads to a bunch of meatheads going out of their way to avoid following safety precautions, and taking shortcuts to squeeze out a little extra job performance. It's bollocks. That's what it is. Take care. We got a lot of good stuff here. Come take a look, eh? Hello, welcome to the Sidonia UC Exchange. The best goods, all courtesy of the United Colonies, straight to all of the wonderful UC soldiers, workers, and other citizens. I've got a little of this, a little of that, and maybe a little of some other things you wouldn't expect to find at the UC shop, hmm? But that's because I try to provide for everyone here. So, please, 
Browse my stock and let me know what I can get for you, friendo. Oh, friendo. You have no idea. You see, not only do I sell goods for the United Colonies, I also need to receive the shipments, stock the shelves, manage the inventory. Why, even now, I have this big delivery. Tracking says it is here, but it is clearly not here. I don't see it, do you? The ship is out in the desert of Mars, not where it should be. Ship services tells me they can look at it, but I need my goods soon, and they're taking too long. You... you could, yes? This is what I hoped when we talked. If you go to where the ship was last seen, you could look at it. Find out what happened. Take care of anything on board that shouldn't be there. Pirates, killer robots, heat leeches, whatever. And check the crates to make sure nothing is broken. Then come back to me, so I can send someone to recover the shipment and get to selling. Easy as peasy, as they say. Nice to meet you. I hope you like it more than I do here. I'm Taye. I live here in the condos. Sorry. I don't, I don't usually talk to strangers in Taya. I don't know. I guess I'm thinking about lots of different things right now. I don't really know what to say. Yeah. I'm just worried about my mom. She gets sad all the time and I just want to help her. She's been that way since my dad died. Only, she doesn't like me talking about other people. So, I probably shouldn't. But you know what? Maybe you should talk to her? She says she doesn't get to talk to too many other adults much. Maybe talking to her would help? I don't know. It's worth a shot though. Right? I don't know. I guess we just make up some games? Usually, I just hang out and talk with Renee, since she's close to how old I am. Sometimes, we go to the community center, and they have stuff to do there. Like crafts, movies, music, and other activities. But... Except, not when the adults are having a meeting. Renee calls them sad meetings, because everyone seems so sad in them. I asked my mom what they were, but... She says it was something to do with drinking, and like, I've never gotten sad after drinking water, so I don't know what's going on. Nah, there's no school in Sidonia. My mom says it's because everything's so packed together, there's no room for it. But also, there's almost no kids here either, so it doesn't make sense to have one. Instead, we learn remotely. It's cool, I guess, but... It'd be cooler if I got to hang out with more kids my age. Like, my friend Renee is fun to hang out with and all, but I think she probably feels the same way. Having a real school would be nice. Bye. I just went with Tell me 
my son Tae invited another stranger to come talk to me again, did he? That boy means well, but he's gonna drive me crazy someday. Oh, it's just that he does this all the time. Tries to get someone to come check in on me. He's got a good heart, just not the best methods. My son means well, and I know he's just trying to look out for me. My husband, his father, isn't with us anymore. It's been hard ever since. He is. I'm doing my best. Thanks for stopping by to chat. Only one point of Moera's patrol route to work from. That's how it goes. Oh. Don't tell me my... That boy means what? Heh. <laughs> God, I hand it. My son means well, and... My husband, his father. Keith died in a mining accident a few years ago. It wrecked me. Here I was, stuck on Mars, suddenly alone with a young child. I... still haven't really recovered from that. I don't really know what to do. When Keith died, Deimos settled with us. Per the settlement, they agreed to buy this condo and allow us to live here rent-free until Tae turns 18. Finding work that I can do as a single mother here on Cydonia has been almost impossible. What little money we do get from the settlement every month goes directly towards what we need to live. To be fair, Deimos provides us with a sustainable lifestyle. They take care of health expenses, food, and more. But it's not enough to pick up and move. Oh. Oh my. Are you sure? That's... My gosh, it's so generous. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to put it away into savings for Tae. Maybe we can afford a better education for him. Or get off this planet someday. Then he won't have to work in the mines like his daddy. Thank you so much. If I can ever find a way to repay you, I will. How incredibly kind. I'm continuing to learn things about you. Good things. You're truly lucky to have a friend who shows such generosity to a total stranger. I'll never forget this. This is a courtesy reminder that despite the low gravity on Mars, a fall into Sidonia's lower level 